are you doing today? I just made it in by the skin of my teeth. We had a little bit of a storm yesterday. I had some errands to run this about. The horrible traffic and the wind and the blown down trees and the snow. But I made it and I made it safely. Let me pull myself up so I can make sure we're centered since I can't see the screen. It might take just a minute. Oh, perfect. Make sure we're turned down. If you would, please say hello when you come on. I'm hoping I can see comments. Let me know where you're watching from. If you guys are dealing with some horrible weather, I know it's pretty bad everywhere right now. Um, although I did see a post, I don't remember where, um, and they said it was sunny and it was back east. It was sunny and like 70 degrees and they were gonna paint outside. I was so jealous because it's, it's like 28 here with the wind and the wind's probably 30 miles an hour. It's horrible, horrible right now. And it looks like my internet's gonna freeze. So if I don't get to your comments, they don't pop up on my screen, I always will check them out um, after the live and I will answer everything uh, to the best of my ability or I'll find an answer for you. So let me introduce myself. I'm Susan with The Withered Barn and I am a DIY paint retailer in Southwest Idaho. And last week we painted this jewelry armoire in DIY paint in apothecary. And it turned out beautiful, I love it. It already had the embellishment molds on it. And it's, I think, the perfect amount. My original intention was I'm gonna repaint all the furniture in my bedroom because it's kind of a dark reddish mahogany color and I just really wanna lighten and brighten up my life this year. So um, I originally was gonna put this back in my bedroom set. However, I like how much more open it is without it in there. So I went over the weekend and did a little uh, rummaging in my storage and I found a smaller armoire box that I can put on my dresser. And so I'm going to be um, purging all of my, all of my um, costume jewelry and other jewelry that I've been saving over the years and I'm gonna minimize it down to that smaller box for me. And so I'll probably be putting this um, in the shop. So today, what my plan is, and it looks like, I'm still frozen on the screen, guys, but I can see comments. Hi, Cynthia. Hi, Linda. Illinois. So my plan is, I was going to white wax the whole thing, but I love this color so much. Since it's been sitting here and I'm walking by it every day since last Tuesday, I really like it the way it is. But I do want to embellish this, um, the molds that are already on here. I want to I want to pop them, make them stand out a little more. So what I'm going to do is we're going to do a little bit of wet distressing. And... I, of course, since I just came running through the door, um, couldn't find my continuous mist bottle, so I did get a little bowl of water. And what I'm going to do, I use cheesecloth for everything. You can use um, whatever you like to, to wet distress. DIY paint is amazing to wet distress, super easy. So I just folded my uh, one sheet of cheesecloth and I'm going to wet it and it's not going to drip, but it's, it's definitely wet. Let me flip this around over here and I'm just going to take this and I'm going to rub it over the top and I'm hoping you guys can see this. So just enough is coming off because it reactivates with water, with moisture until I seal it so I can pull off just the amount I want before I seal it. It makes distressing so stinking easy. So after I'm done wet distressing, I'm gonna add some um, clear wax 
is what I'm gonna do. And then I wanna try some of the white decrepit dust in here instead of the white wax. And let's see, I haven't used it yet. See if I can get the look I want with it. Oh, this is turning out great. And because I did decide um, that we were gonna put this in the shop um, to retail, I went ahead and I finished out um, the edges. I'll have to do a little more trim work, but I did finish the sides of the drawers and everything. It was, if it was just for me, I probably wouldn't have done that, but I wanted to take that extra step. See how easy that is, guys? Pull off just what I want. here and you'll see I'm not dripping water anywhere look how stinking easy I love it love it I turn to the side here and keep working See if we got some. Hi, Suzanne, Patricia. How are you guys doing? So again, I'm just wet distressing, pulling off some of the clay paint, just in the spots I want. I don't think I want anything on my sides. I just want it legs. Move around the front. A little more there. Okay, let's go here. Well, I've had pieces trying to distress them, sanding them back with my little uh, sanding sponge, trying a heavier grit. That didn't work. So I end up pulling out my little palm sander and trying to sand that, and it never looks as natural. And this looks like a natural wear and tear. I love it. Now, if I wanted um, like a different color underneath, I could have did like maybe crinoline or tarnished pearl first, then put a seal on it, then the apothecary. So when I wiped it back, the crinoline or tarnished pearl would be showing and not the wood. So you just layer it up and you can create so many fabulous looks. And also today I had every intention of putting the knobs on for you because I found the most cutest knobs. And since last weekend, I've completely misplaced them. I have no idea where they're at, guys. I'm, I'm that messed up with construction at the store. Um, working on our house. We've got one more room to do. Our house seems to be a never ending project. Hi, Anna. It's good to see you again. Do I have, Alice, do I have any paper designs? Do you mean the IOD transfers? If you mean the IOD transfers, I do. They're on my website. I have all of them. If you want to go on there and check them out. Look how pretty that looks. I'll get you guys some close-ups before we're done. I can tell I've got a little bit too much buildup on my cheesecloth, so I'm going to just roll it over because it gets a little too smooth and it's just not coming up as easy. So I turn it over to a different spot and it works just fine. And you can use 
Um, any cloth, really. You just don't want um, the little fuzzies coming off because then you got to kind of wipe it off. And that's another step I don't want to have to do. <laughs> Looking good. Okay, I think we look good. Make sure we're kind of even. On my distressing areas. There we go. A little bit more on this side. Okay. See how easy that was? Wet distressing. So I'm just going to toss this aside, move my water bowl out of the way. So now I'm going to add some white wax. And again, for the sake of time, I'll be white, or not white wax, sorry, clear wax. I'll be waxing all of this detail in this front. I'll do the sides later for you. Get a final picture, and then we're gonna do our decrepit dust. Alice, you bet I can ship it to Texas. got my little Roxy hair in there already. So I'm just going to fill up. Now I'm using my Insider brush by DIY Paint for this wax because I want to be able to control it a little more to get it into all this embellishing area here. And I'll go ahead and use it across the front. This one is the waxer and it's a little big. You can see this one's got a little more detailed tip. So I'm going to use it to get in here since I'm going to use the, um, the white decrepit dust. Even just the white wax makes it pop really well. Knee back up. You guys have pets. I'm a pet hair sufferer, especially in the winter. Okay. Good. You see how when you add your top coat, your color comes more true. It um, ends up being more like the color was in your jar now that you've got your top coat on there. It's not as um, chalky. beautiful color. I love it. Move that over for you guys. I'm just making sure I get in every little nook and cranny since we're going to add the white um, decrepit dust and try that out. do multiple color layers on your finish like a you want to use a little bit of dark wax and then a little bit of white wax 
get whatever color you want to achieve. Do your white wax first because it's easier to take off if you put too much on of the other colors. Does that make sense? It kind of works like an eraser. So even if I'm doing a piece in dark wax, I always do clear first. Because I'm, I'm so scared of messing up. <laughs> Oh, uh, it's so pretty. You guys, I love it. I can't wait to start on my nightstands. Suzanne, isn't it a gorgeous color? Yes, it really makes it pop, too. That was Linda. Yes. excited to try out the white dust. And I'm going in circles with my wax to make sure I get every groove, every nook and cranny. I will do all my sides and everything, but we'll do that afterwards. Because I want to show you guys the decrepit dust on here. Gotta make sure we get that in. I think I'm going to use a little bit more of the clear in these in these nook and crannies where I want my dust to stick. And then I'll wipe it back. Like I said, I have not had time to play with the white dust. So we're going to try this out together. Okay. Let me do this side. where I want the dust to go because it's got to have something to stick to. So I'm going to set my brush aside. We have some coffee, guys. I told you it's been a rough morning. It's starting to get black again. So another storm is coming. Suzanne, two cats inside, two adopted cats on the outside. You know what? Our pets are spoiled, <laughs> so spoiled. Um, the, the temperature drops below 60. All the dogs are in. We've got a long-haired Belgian Shepherd. I can't even go there with that hair. She sheds horrible. She gets brushed like every two days and still it's horrible. Um, then we also have a lab, maybe beagle mix. So she's short, little short black hair that sticks like little needles in everything. And then we have our Doberman. She's our big mama dog and she doesn't shed. However, she likes to roll in the dirt like a horse and brings it back in and flops on the wood floor so you can literally see her doggy outline in dirt. <laughs> I can't even tell you. Um, we have 13 cats right now. Um, one of our mamas had some babies. 
super friendly kittens. Um, they're all barn cats basically out here out on the farm, but we do bring them into a spot in the winter when it's super cold. Uh, so they are in with heat lamps and they got a play area and it's all fenced in. Um, so they're, they're doing pretty good. And then our chickens are the same way. We've got 15 chickens that are living the high life. Um, they have been moved to our backyard and uh, that way they've got you know some space to play around in without the snow and the wind. So all of our, they're very spoiled, very spoiled. I'm gonna get this ready. I don't know if I'm gonna need it, but I'm gonna have it ready. Here's my dust. Now it comes in like a um, four ounce container, but there's about two ounces in there. And it literally, it just looks like cornstarch maybe, but it's very highly pigmented. And so I'm gonna use a little brush. I could pinch it if I laid this down and pinched it into my crevices, but I'm gonna use the brush. More. We'll see how this works. I'm gonna just kind of scoop some up on here. Not very much. And I'm gonna dab it in here. Probably would have been easier if I laid it down. But I don't want to see let you guys see me struggle. <laughs> I'm just pushing this dust into my cracks and crevices up here, and then we're gonna wipe it back. And it kind of gives it a little bit of a texture too, which is kind of cool. it in random spots on my sides and we'll see how this looks and if I don't like it we're gonna wipe it off and start over okay let's start there so I'm gonna take my towel first because I don't want too much and I'm just gonna kind of dust it off a little bit I don't know how it's going to react. Okay. Ooh, I kind of like that. There we go. Can you guys see that little bit in the mix of crannies? It makes, makes it look um, aged and weathered. Oh, thank you, Anna. That was nice. I love my Barney friends. Okay, I'm just gonna wipe some of this down. You could use your waxer brush and rub it all in there, but I want to control it to this area. So that's why I'm wiping, and I want it to stay in my edges. Okay, can you guys see that? I love it. I think I need a little more. Got too much in here. I'm gonna add a little more. That looks good. I really like this, guys. I really like being able to control it. I'm gonna add a little more in here. Okay, now let's wipe some more off. I'm gonna do a little lighter touch. Some more stays in my crevices. There. Look at that. Oh, you guys are gonna to have to have a close up of this. It's beautiful. What's easier to control in your opinion? The darker wax or the dust? 
Melanie, I like the dust. I like to be able to scoop it out in little pieces and put it right where I want it. For me, my pieces, I'm a white person, so I like to do white wax or white washes or um, dry brush white. When I add a dark to it, for me personally, it's almost too muddy looking. And so I always end up going over it and second guessing myself. So in order to make it easier for me, I like the dust because I can put it right where I want it. If I wanted dark just in these little crevices, this is going to work a little easier for me because I won't get like those little wax brush strokes, if that makes sense. And this will give me that little bit of aged texture as well. And like I said, this is the first time using the white and I, I like it. This will probably be my go-to over my white wax from now on. I'll do clear wax with this, probably for 90% of my projects because I really like the control. So I'm gonna play with this white wax. Let's scoop that around again. With the white wax and see what I can do with it. See, I like that. And I like that I don't have it here. I am digging it. Yep. Love it, love it. Jennifer, thank you so much. Suzanne, your cats have a heated house too. Yes, six blankets. I know. I go crazy at the thrift store stocking up on blankets. And I always use it as an excuse to Farmer Joe, oh, I need to get a new um, quilt or I need to get a new comforter because we used it for the cats or we used it for the dogs. <laughs> and he never questions it because he's the same way. He likes them to be comfortable. I always tell him when we get strays that um, aren't harming our other animals or they don't seem dangerous to the kids, they live out their life very happy here. <laughs> they never leave. Okay, I'm just adding some around my edges, pulling that back in. Now I want to try something with you guys. I'm going to see if we can remove some of this with my clear wax. Like let's say I put too much dust and I didn't like it. I'm going to put some more clear wax on here. I'm going to try to buff it out. Let's see what happens. Yep, it took it off guys. So you can erase it with a little bit of your clear wax. So it does work the same way as removing a colored wax off of there. So let's put it back now because I really like the detail in here. Like I mentioned, it has a little tiny bit of a texture. There. I think 
that looks pretty good. Let's flip it around. That looks great. Suzanne, have you used the dust before? Oh yes, you love using it. Sorry, my, my comments are not scrolling up for some reason. Anna, isn't this pretty? So pretty, love all of it. I gotta add some here. And I'm just gonna keep right on going. Yes, I like that I can just put it where I want. Okay. Ooh, did you guys feel the, the light change? I'm gonna have to add my drawer knobs and get you guys a picture of the finish. Finish the sides. Look at this. Look at this. I love it, guys. Put the lid on there. Isn't that gorgeous? white right there. There we go. Now if you guys can hear my our Doberman Bella, she's in there snoring. <laughs> she snores horrible. Okay. There we go. So the knobs I got, so hopefully I can find them. If not, I've got to go find more. They were a small, um, like a crackled pearl with a little bit of silver, and then it had a little tiny embellishment where the bracket screw went in, in um, kind of an oyster rose gold color. So pretty. I hope I can find them. I'm so upset. But I wanted to show you guys what else I do. When I'm putting a piece in my store, everybody usually asks me this. Do you put anything on your piece? Do you engrave it? Do you put a, a stamp? I put a tag with care instructions on it, but this is what I do. I have a stamp with my logo, and I've got some permanent ink here. I just take it and I stamp it. Hopefully it comes off. Just like that. Isn't that awesome? So if you guys are hobbyists, get you a little stamp. Um, they, I saw where they're making um, like branding irons. But some of my pieces that I like to redo are not solid wood all the time and so that doesn't work for me. I like people to reuse the, the items and furniture that they've already got in lieu of buying new and re-love and, and restore your pieces with DIY paint and embellishments. So I want to thank you guys so much for joining me today. I'll see you guys next Tuesday on the DIY paint page or throughout the week on the Withered Barn page. Thank you so much. You guys have a great day. Bye.